your thoughts when they were reading the scorecards? Obviously, you have the same name, so it was a little, it was a little bit of a delayed reaction there. Hey, I got excited. They read my name, and I was like, yep, I knew it. I hit that rope of dope, and I was winning. Foreman couldn't touch this, and then all of a sudden they gave it to Foreman. I was like, what the hell are y'all thinking? <laughs> I thought I didn't know you can make a miss so many times and still be a, on the losing end. I did the whole Colors Condat, Robbie Lawler thing, and sure enough, they gave it to Robbie again. Were you scoring? <laughs> I mean, as you went along, were you scoring in your head? I mean, did you have a feeling kind of where you were at? I did had a feeling where I was at. I kept on, I kept the pressure. Uh, he kept on that forward pressure, but I landed every single shot. Like, he didn't hit me with any significant strikes. You could look at his face and could look at mine. I still look handsome as hell. So, I mean, like, look at the, he came out looking like Frankenstein this time. So, I don't know what's up. You Oh, yeah. you, you came out using a, a game plan, your speed. Uh huh. Do you, do you feel there's anything else you need to work on? No, I made sure, like, I stuck to the game plan. People want to get upset, get mad about stuff. That's not how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to sit there and be mad about anything I did. My performance showed itself by sitting there, making a miss, slipping the shots, and you know what? I don't, and I always get characterized for this. I don't pay attention to the corners, and I actually listen this time. So. If you guys want to blame anybody, blame me. I'll take full responsibility for not doing what I told the fans I would do by getting that KO knockout. But I thought I'd deliver one hell of a show by showing my footwork, speed, and my agility. Like, he kept on rebounding off of sloppy shots, and you guys cheered him on, and I sat there and kept on punishing for him. I thought the grappling might play a lot more in your game plan. Was it, was it something you just didn't want to use, or, or you didn't see the, uh, the uh, opportunities there? I wanted to give him the fight that he wanted, and I was trying to pay attention to the corners. They wanted me to shoot, so... Those sloppy shots that I ended up doing, it's because I was like, all right, fine, I'll just do it. Shut up, leave me alone. All right, it failed. I'm going back to swinging. <laughs> I know it's still early. I mean, I'm sure you'll probably want to go back and watch the fight. But do you feel like if, if I mean, was it the fact you think that his forward pressure, do you think that's maybe what the judges were, were what they rewarded? I think so, because at all honesty, if you look at significant strikes, we're going to see that I'm the one who landed the more, more significant strikes and I landed pinpointed accuracy. Like, we can tell by my face, his body, and everything else that looks damaging. I mean, do I look like I was even in a fight? The head, the head kick was landing for you tonight. Were you surprised that he was able to just take it? Nah, he has a thick head. Look, at he like Tito Ortiz with that tiki side head, man. I mean, I give him mad props. He, has, he took everything I threw at him, he was still standing. I took everything he threw at me, and, well, I made a miss. <laughs> it was that baseball swing that he missed with that grand slam, and I was trying to hit it, too, so... I mean, more power to him. He did what he needed to do. He came out with the victor. I know I'll see him later down the road, and we'll we'll play it back. Was there any point in which he did hurt you? With what? I got I checked a couple of kicks, and my leg hurts. He kicked me in the calf, and that hurts. That hurts a lot. Like, I'm walking a little funny, and everyone thinks, like, oh, he must have hit you with something hard. I was like, no. I went to go check a kick, and I turned my heel outwards instead of inwards, and it's a little swollen right now, but everything else is perfectly fine. You kind of said there you think you'll meet again. I mean, is this one that, that you're going to want back? Of course. Like, now I have, a, I have a new person to sit there and hunt for. Forget Demetrius Johnson. Shoot, I can take this one out any day of the week. You wanted to get back to action pretty quick last time. It didn't happen. Do you, I mean, what, what do you think this time? Is it some time, some time off, or do you want to fight again as soon as possible? I want to fight as soon as possible, man. I don't get paid by sitting down and learning everything. I get paid by knocking people out. I didn't knock this dude out, but sure enough, I'll come back even stronger. I mean, the only decision I got a lot by losses are decisions. So, I mean, wait for that day someone can actually finish me and shut me up.